This is Port Elizabeth or the new name Quebara in South Africa. We arrived on time at the port here in South Africa, Port Elizabeth. I can see white building in the in the back I assume it's a soccer stadium which they used for the World Cup which was held in South Africa 2010 and if you still know you were champion in 2010 please write it down in the comments uh, there was just a message from uh, uh, the bridge. Uh, this is not our actual uh, gate position, so uh, uh, we cannot get out here because the, as you can see, the the, uh, the port is blocked. Uh, right here on this side, we have a train train wagons where they unload uh, new cars there are a lot of new cars I don't know if they are for import or export and here you have some uh, tractors and other machines where they uh, which are used on on the farms and a lot of containers on this side so we're gonna reposition it's not me but the the captain is going to reposition the ship to our final gate so everything is delayed also my excursion i'm doing safari today whoopee safari This will block the hallway and it is not safe. So once again, please do not proceed or congregate in front of the staircases, elevators and near the gangway area until we receive the go ahead from the local authorities. In the meantime, take a seat in one of our public lounges, enjoy a cup of coffee, so enjoy your breakfast. Remember today you need to bring your guest key card and passport. Once again, bring your passport today and proceed ashore. Our all of our time is 6.30 p.m. We thank you for your patience and understanding. As we are heading to Cariega Game Reserve to do my first safari, Wow, I'm so excited. I can tell you a little bit about the delay we had. Um, we had about uh, one hour and a half, a two hour delay. But uh, NCL, thank you for that. Uh, they refunded us the price of that excursion. So I'm heading to a free safari. going over the Sundays River. It's also very re well known for a holiday resort and people coming out and doing the, on the uh, right hand side, doing the sand dunes, climbing up the sand dunes and um, doing uh, different things on the river. They've got drip, little river cruises.
Obviously, if he has the right away. Absolutely. <laughs> so, two brothers. Okay. About four and a half years old. But good reason why this male wants to lie on the road, because the road's warm. Yeah. And when you're the top of the food chain, you can sleep and do what you want. On a hot day like today, elephants enjoy the valley. Nice cool, cool shade, lots of food, of course with the trees. And most importantly, you had good drinking water as well. That. So I'm trying to just roll the dice now and head down through this valley. If we get lucky with elephant, happy day. If not, we'll drive a little bit of that open area, back down through this valley, up that road, cross back into the east, and hopefully find some white rhino or something like that on the other side. <laughs> too far down there because those antelopes will just move off. Antelopes you see at the back, those are in Yala, in Yala, quite similar to the sound of Impala, but Impala are all the same color and look the same, mm -hmm. where these ones you can see sort of beige color and dark color, beige color, female. Dark color. to survive but the first runner to survive a poaching and have babies ever so you can google or youtube old tundi the rhinoceros and watch the documentary on when we found her on top of this hill in a pool of blood with her whole face opened up to three four months of doing skin grafts blood transfusions and nursing her back to what we've got there now i think that's her i'll get a better look it looks like her and she's had four babies so a success story sad beginning great ending not so much for the other two 
But again, that just reminds you of the threat every day. Usain Bolt's our top runner and he's probably about 38k an hour. I'm yeah. guessing somewhere there. Yeah. Incredibly quick. Elephants and buffalo are over 50 kilometers an hour. It's incredible these animals how quick they are for their size. Well, getting some nuttier there in the distance. You can see them. There goes one for me. Just over there. Oh, got you, got you, yep. <laughs> You might have new zebra on the property in about yeah. 11 months yeah. if he had his <laughs> success good, that stallion. Yeah. So we've got four seasonal breeders, Warthog, Impala, Gnu or Wildebeest as you call. Look at the view from the main lodge of the Karjega. A reserve in South Africa. Absolutely fantastic game reserve. Flat land, but also valleys, rivers, lookouts, bushes. It's absolutely beautiful. Females, males have got the horns and the females.